Welcome back, ladies and gents. Matt is not wasting any time. He was disappointed with the hard point performance. He vowed not to let the fans down. I wasn't down. disappointed in my own performance. I the was team disappointed in the rest of the team. It's the team. He's 1 0 up. Search and destroy. Express. Did you actually get a kill in that first round? No, I got stunned. You didn't, you didn't get a kill? No. That's disappointing. Uh, but Charge continuing on dropped. with our AMA, we asked um, you guys on Reddit <laughs> how many. Kid just got bullied. <laughs> we asked you guys on Reddit uh, have you had any questions? Let us know. Uh, moving on. Let's have a look. What's the next question? Should there be a system that dictates specialist choice like a veto system before every match? Yes. Yeah? Built into the game? Yeah. How many specialists would you need, though, at that point? How for, many? For a veto system they're saying really there's going to be like 18. Oh, 18? I think there's 18. There's like nine and then two different combinations of each. So you figure they play like pretty differently as well. Uh... I mean, I would be a big fan of having a veto kind of system before each game. Objectives. Hmm. Maybe if it's only like for rank play or something like that. I don't know. Right. That could be cool. That could be cool. Uh, moving on. Do you think we will see, or this would you like to see, right? another KSG style shotgun? It's one of my favorite guns I've played with. I would love to see it brought back. Uh, the KSG was kind of cool. It was like a long range shotgun, yep. right? It was like a pop, pop, pop. It was pretty sick. Would you like to see it back? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? I would love to see the model brought back. That that shotgun, pre-patch as well. Whoo! That oh, thing was on. that that thing was it was sick. Yeah, the 1887. That was that was nasty. They they needed to patch that that gun, and then they they finally did, and people stopped using it. Used to see it in all the sniper montages. Anyway, I digress. I like the uh, Remington shotgun. <laughs> Dual ranges, bro. Did you really just miss that guy? Yeah. Oh. You're you're pretty. You just are. There. Yeah. Oh no. That's running out of time, ladies and gents. He oh. Oh. <laughs> and he killed me too. What in the hell was that? Oh, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, all right. Ranked slash league needs to make a. Oh, hold on. Needs to make the ranking system more in depth. Adding more than five stages of rank. We need CSGO type of system. It needs to be. It needs to be. Get rid of ranks. Get rid of ranks. Ready. It needs to be like an ELO, like a number. Numerical digit. Yeah, it adds more to play for. I 100% agree with you on that. And that's really all there is to say about that. You, you give them a number and you play people around that similar level. You win, your number goes up. You lose, your number goes down. Pretty simple. You can add a flashy little color badge to it if you really want. Maybe you put people in divisions like League of Legends do it. But ultimately, it all comes down to that number, the ELO. Uh, how do you think competitive would change if it moved to 5v5? Uh, I think it would be more entertaining. Why? What makes you say more entertaining? The maps are built for... 6v6. 6v6. It would okay. fill out the maps a little bit more. It would make the teams a little bit more interesting. I actually think it would make the teams a little bit more stable as well. Breaking up a team of five is a lot harder than breaking up teams of four. Yeah. That's true. But then... You wouldn't see, like, crazy roster movement with teams of five. Then the big counter-argument to this is, like, prize money. You then splitting that between five players, like... Is there enough prize money, like to, to justify that? Like, cause that, so we're gonna cause base that a million that a million dollar tournament really doesn't look that good. Because we're gonna base the amount of no, money. That's all I'm saying. With the players if we, we play right with, now. because of the amount of money that we're giving away. But if we did that right now, like, you know, let's get fifth. I, I don't know. I mean, I think um, I'm a fan of five on five. I think five on five makes a ton of sense. Switching okay. Sides. I mean, there's. You can't really give me like a gameplay reason of why it shouldn't be five and five. Oh no, absolutely not. Other than the stupid reason everybody gives, oh we've always played four and four. <laughs> Which is oh, why have you always played Which four and four? I don't know. We always did. Technically, that's not actually even true. Which is a super ironic thing. But I'm so dead. Anyway, yo, if you kill this guy, oh. you're really bad. <laughs> did you have a snipe, like champs? Oh no. my god, that's I why. I never sniped this. <laughs> Jesus. So hey, I'm just sniping for the sake of just <laughs> pulling one out here. If somebody has the exclusivity right to Black Ops 3, do you see competitive quad following them? I mean, yes, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. Moving on. A lot of questions about Sony. Um, unless anything is different, I'm going to ignore your question, so apologies. Um, I want to answer the same question over and over again. Yeah. Will Black Ops 3 bring back roles for players, or will it be another slay-heavy game like AW? Well, here's the two-parted question. Here's the two-parted answer. Okay. Uh, if everybody can play some band specialists, then no, we won't see any. <laughs> we won't see any uh, like kind of roles 
or anything in that nature, but if we play with the specialists like we should, then uh, I think you're going to see a ton of just... It's going to create a ton of different gameplay amongst all the players. It's going to be awesome. I mean, you'll have even... You'll have, like, crazy combinations. I mean, you know, two players could be running this, you know, another player running that, and then you kind of make, like, different team compositions and there's different counters for right, that. Like, right. other teams are going to have to team. run. So it's pretty dope. It'd be pretty awesome. Pretty dope. Um, I, I, and from what I read, I think Drifter did, like, an AMA. And, uh, yeah, his stuff, like, he was an allowed to talk about stuff that he played. Ooh. Like, and uh, he was saying that, like, the specialization stuff, like, it wasn't overpowered. That, like, you could easily see, like, the guy with the, the thing is coming, like, from miles That's away, and you can, like, get away. Just like, peace out. Yeah, he said it wasn't, like, overpowered at all. All right. Do you I, guys trust, I trust you. Do you guys think the play style will cater more towards AW or Black Ops 2? And which of those It's going to cater more towards Black Ops 2. The play style? Yes. What? Yeah. How? How? You already know there's movement mechanics just like AW. Trust me, Young Benson. It's going to play a lot more like Black Ops 2 than AW. Are you talking about time to kill? Both speed and time to kill. There's no way the speed of the game is the same as Black Ops 2. That's impossible with the increased movement oh, mechanics. Oh, I went to go melee and I hit the crouch button. Uh, yeah, it's going to play, more, it's gonna play more to the speed of Black Ops 2. How? Yeah, I'm telling you, it's going to. I just got a feeling, young Benson. No, I, I completely disagree. I think with with the exo mechanical abilities and whatnot, I think the game speed will play like uh, Advanced Warfare. I think Time to Kill will be exactly like Black Ops 2. It's going to play exactly maybe, like Black Ops 2. Maybe that has the effect speed, on game speed. The speed will be like Black Ops 2, and the Time to Kill will be like Black Ops 2 as well. I think you're crazy on that. But we'll, we will agree. Remember, remember when I said this. What's today's date? May the fifth. May the fourth. May the fourth. May fourth. Remember, I said this on May fourth. I agree with you. Time to kill, but game speed. Like you're giving someone an exosuit. Remember, I said speed would be the same as well, guys. What's in that coffee? Is that Irish coffee? Uh, people's caster just knows, man. You're delusional. He's anyway. more in tune with the people. Uh, how do nice you hope the special abilities and weapons are balanced? Do you hope they are? Do you hope they are in the game? What the ready for the next read it as it's read it as it's. Do you typed. hope they are in the game? What? Maybe he means like in the competitive game. Oh. Uh, let me see. Well, let me see. Let me see. That's literally just what it says. How do you hope the special abilities and weapons are balanced? Do you hope they are in the game? I hope they're balanced and in the game. That's my answer. Okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, FPS full. Shut up. We already did that. Um. Should there be a change in overtime for S and D? This is interesting. I like this question a lot. Maybe first to six win by no. two? As it is now, we currently have people throwing rounds in some situations so they can make more favorable side in overtime. It takes away from the possible 1v4 clutches or crazy plays. I don't mean increasing the rounds to 16 like CSGO because having all the game modes makes quite different and there shouldn't be a loss of any game modes to make an SD last longer. I think there SD should be... does win championships but don't count out crazy plays like we see in Uplink, though it may not be in the next title. We saw crazy CTF moments this weekend at ESWC and last second half points. Good job. Get ready I think it should be... Round. S and D, where you have to like win by two, win by two rounds. Like I if it gets to five five, like you have to win by two. But then does that take away that whole crazy round eleven, or does that create an extra hype and excitement as the game? Because like then you could have a crazy like twenty minute game of S and D, which is like, this is sick. When you'd have but to have you it. you don't have round eleven. No, you would have to have it be like Clear the ten objectives. rounds, and like have mathematically be done that way. And then you can end in a 5-5 tie, and that could force, like, an overtime. Or one team wins S&D 6-4, you know? Like a best of 10. Right. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I would love to see being winning by two. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, my God. This next question is an absolute animal. Oh, my Read God. It. Dude, this is an essay. Okay, shout out to Tweak, by the way, for this. How is Black Ops 3 and Treyarch going to develop esports in terms of moving it over to TV oh and on channels like ESPN and Sky Sports? TV? Poker, yeah, poker gets a space on ESPN, yet gaming, which requires more skill and tactics, is rejected. Not sure about that. Uh, I personally think some areas that need to be addressed could include the cameras. For someone who's watching at home and never seen Call of Duty before, a first-person view with tons of explosions and jumping and boosting gives the what just happened feel. Sometimes, even though I'm the one playing, I have no idea what's happening on screen. 
Okay. I feel third person cameras to watch key points or hydraulic areas in objectives is needed. We actually have that. We use it. Uh, first person only really works in slower game modes such as Decision Destroy, where the action isn't as relentless and as slowed down compared to something like Hardpoint. I'm not saying remove first person views, maybe just use them occasionally. Say if a player pulls a flag or goes on a one point throw and upling. So this they don't hold want on. Us I'm, not, I'm not when they're done. Oh my god. Hold on, no when they're done. This could also encourage users to possibly use an app where they can view from the game in their own perspective or through the eyes of a player. For example, if they know Crim6 is going to be dropping 50 bombs all day, let viewers just watch him. Similarly, I think casters should have much more developed tools to give post-match analysis. If you watch Monday Night Football here in the UK, they take clips and have tools able to show where defensive errors were made or how well a certain team coped with a set piece. If you Google in YouTube, you can see what I mean. Potentially, caster could take clips and show how well Ricky and Embos defended a bomb. They could also take a minimap, draw on that, we've done that before, to show how a team made a mistake in pulling a flag and show how possible tactics could have employed to make that flag pull successful. Also, I feel the casters need... A Wait, hold on. This is interesting. Also, I feel the casters need to offer a little more insight in what play actually means. If formal snipe someone, don't tell us you snipe someone. We can see that. Instead, tell us what the opposing team do. They push back, blah, 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 blah. Bouncing around and shouting, blah, blah, What are you reading? Dude, this is this is an essay. I'm like only halfway through. Okay, keep reading then. Okay. Um. All right, where are we? Switching sides. I completely lost track of the first part I also think we need more round-based game modes. Okay, I agree with that. Um, possibly the same for CTF. Maybe first to two I flag caps earns a point, and then you swap sides. We got the bomb. And it's first to three rounds to decide the winner. Mm. No, that's so confusing. This would provide a much easier viewing experience for new. No, it really wouldn't, as they'd be able to follow the game much easier. Okay, well, let's go back to the original point. Okay, How let's go Black point Ops by three point. Get on TV, Matt. That's I, that was basically the question. It gets to the point where it's big enough to be on TV. What does that mean? We need like. When are we? When are we at that level? Video games is not at that level yet in the United States. I mean, we we just saw Hearthstone on ESPN. Right, but too. he's kind of saying that you no, know, hey, we shouldn't show the Rams versus the Dolphins on Monday. We should show uh, Optic versus Denial. Dude, hundred percent. I mean, don't win that. <laughs> uh, no, it's no? not. For like mainstream like cable television, it's not there yet. Like ESPN two, I would consider that like. Amazing, like monstrous, but I think he's kind of saying like this should be on every Sunday, and we're not there yet. What was the second part of his question, Dude, or like the third I, part? I, I, Come I, on, keep going, keep going. No, no. You finish the game. So for now, we're gonna head over to a quick commercial break. When we return, more league play, more questions. I'm like halfway through now, I think. I, I don't know. There's still a lot of questions from you guys. We'll try and answer as many as we possibly can. Be right back.